Morning guys, welcome to today. It's a crappy Thursday. Crappy Thursday. It was pouring rain all morning. The horses were miserable. I put their blankets on so they'd stay warm. Storm was like really depressed. Let's see how he is now. He's depressed in the rain. He doesn't like the rain at all. He hates the rain. And I was debating whether or not to leave him in the stall. But they started eating at the brown bale and I said, all right. I'll leave you for now. Yeah, he's fine. He's eating at the round bale now. Honey and Gracie. Gracie's now eating at the round bale. But they didn't want to go out this morning, so I, you know, I fed them in their little spot there, like I always do. And yeah, so now Sophie and I are going out to get a coffee at Tim Hortons. It's cold out. I know I said that I don't drink too much coffee now, but Sophie got a, a gift card for Easter there, so we're gonna use it up, aren't we? All right, we're gonna use it up. And uh, yeah, it's not short weather today, that's for sure, but I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and I need a sweater, it's cold. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. You may be able to tell by my hair that it is raining. You're probably thinking, Laura, your hair looks the same. <laughs> but the truth is I kind of have wavy hair and when it gets wet, this is what happens. So today I made homemade cookies. These are gluten-free, gluten-free cookies and they are chocolate with cranberries. They are so good, you guys. I also made banana bread. I thought it was supposed to rain for four days, but I just got a weather alert. It says that it's gonna stop raining tomorrow morning and then just go to a drizzle. It's been raining like... So these little duck has been inside with us because we haven't really made a spot for him. Well, actually we have a spot for him. We actually have a spot for him, but... I think he needs her there right now. Um, also, we don't want him to be alone. So I'm trying to find him another little partner so he can go out in the, in the chicken coop. Sometimes I leave the chicken coop light on because when I look at the chicken coop on dark, gloomy days from the house, it always makes it feel inviting to me and it always makes it feel special and open and just nice. So we didn't let the chickens out today, but they, we did open that little door so that they could choose to go out. So right now we have our guineas in this little coop. I just love this. I literally want Sam to make a brooder here instead of this thing. Like this thing is, it's big and has lots of space for babies, but it's just annoying. I really want him to make a brooder from here to this wall and up high so we can put, so we can put our babies in there and get rid of this thing. We'll have more room. I mean, we'll only have just like a little walkway, but I love our coop. It's my dream to have all of our fowl contained in one area and he really wants to be with the chickens. So the reason you don't put ducks with chickens is because- I don't think he could- Well, boy tiny. ducks try to mate with chickens. He's tiny, look at how small he is. I know, he's so tiny. It doesn't matter. He still has the opportunity to mate with them. But in the barnyard, I might put them together because then the girls have a chance to run away from him and then he can't hurt them. If you guys remember, uh, when we first moved in, it took us a long time to get things just set up for us to bring our horses over and bring our animals over. So this year is going to be about building things, fixing things up, doing some painting, making things the way that we want them. Last year was just about surviving and getting all of our animals here. Rooster is like, what is wrong with you? You're so noisy. Yeah, even like he's the size of a silky. So I guess that's how big he is. He's the size of a silky. He's like longer, but not taller. Longer body, but not taller. Now that we have this section all fixed up, <laughs> our guineas are eventually gonna go in with the chickens <laughs> and they looks like they want to. So they're eventually gonna go in with the chickens and then we'll have this whole coop that we can put the ducks in. I think we probably won't get any more geese for right now, no more geese because they're just too big. Like these call ducks are so much easier to manage and so much easier to handle. We can even fit the little pool in there. Yeah, I don't wanna put a pool in there though. It'll just be really messy. But our big problem is having a source of water for them outside running free. So we're gonna figure that out. I think we can figure it out. Do you guys remember when we used to go and sit out? I used to have my coffee at the chicken coop and just watch our chickens all the time in the sun in the summer. They were like, they fed my soul so much. Well, when it's pouring rain and you can't actually get out and be with the animals as much, I'm finding this chicken coop amazing for being able to just come out here and sit 
and watch the animals, watch the chickens. And this poor little duck that is so lonely, he's missing his friends. But we're working on it. We're about to get him another little call duck. <laughs> he's like, where, where is she? I want her right now. <laughs> See how quiet he is though? So cute. So cute and even his like, he, he's not noisy. He's really, really quiet. He's like a silky, just so super quiet. The miniatures are just so quiet. I love a chicken coop that's big enough that you can walk in. I just, I just love this chicken coop. Yeah, actually that is such a true thing. Like we could just put his food and water in here. In fact, we could use this whole area right here. Let's show you. This whole space here, we could make into like an area to put the duck if we wanted to. And maybe we will when we get a girl. No, I don't want to put him in the guineas for the same reason, but we could put him in this brooder, but I, he can't see the other chickens and he can't see the other, uh, he can't see the other chickens when he's inside the brooder. So it wouldn't be safe. It wouldn't be good for him. Do you want to bring it? You want to bring his stuff out here and put him out here? He'd probably love it. He probably would. Because he, he wants to be with the other animals. They really want him. <laughs> She's gone. I came earlier to check and Honey was in here eating hay. It sucks that the horses are outside. They all have a blanket on though and it's mild out. And even though they're getting wet and it's rainy and it's muddy and it's gross, the grass needs it, the hay needs it, the wells need it. We need this rain. I love having a barn that we can hang out in. You should let her in here. Tell her to come in. Come here, baby. <laughs> we didn't even have to, we didn't even have to call her. She just was like, I'm coming. Come on, sweet girl. Last summer, Sam made this little bench to sit on. Oh, My one regret with Honey is that there were no other babies here with her. We should have bought two. There was only one for sale. Mm -hmm. She does have a ba a younger brother and an older brother. She's the only girl born. Like she had, they had a boy the first year, a girl, and then another boy. People buy young horses all the time and you don't buy two. It just sucks for her because she has so much energy and she has so much desire to, to play still. She's only two and she just wants to play. And she often tries to play with our my Yorkie and now with the pig. She just wants to play with them so much and she's rough. She's not a pig and she's not a dog. So. She plays with the goats. And she does play with the goats. But when she chases them, she wants to buck and kick. Oh, hi, Gracie. I'm sorry, you can't come in here. You can't come in. Actually, she could come in. No, because I'm... But I love how she came to check on her baby. She said, where did my child go? She's such a good girl. I cannot wait until we can be out here every day and just be working all day and doing stuff with our horses like we did the other day. That was felt so good. And he just doesn't have the training that Willow has. <laughs> good girl. I don't have any treats. I had treats. I was giving them oh, to wait, her earlier. I do have treats. Yeah, if you're a real, are you even a real horsewoman if you don't have treats in every pocket of every coat I you own? <laughs> Gracie's back. Gra Gracie's like treats. Treats? Did anybody mention treats? <laughs> Listen, you lay down right now, you get more treats. Yeah, Sophie's been trying to get her to lay down. She lays down sometimes. She yeah. Close. Uh -huh. Bye, honey. Come here, honey. Go back out in the rain. Go with your mama. Good honey. Gracie's like, who's her mama? I noticed the same thing with Winston. He's alone. And I noticed the same thing with Ellie. She was alone. And when you're alone and you're like a baby, it's just not the same. But the boats, they all stick together. So the moms and the babies stick together. So like the triplets, they are all best friends and they love each other and they spend so much time together. And then they kind of play with Winston, but not that much. Like he's alone. He had Lola. He claimed Lola for his own. Everyone else claims Lola. <laughs> Everyone else claims Lola. But now Lola is with Cricket and they're best friends. So poor little Winston is on his own. And sadly, tomorrow is the day that Winston gets separated. I'm gonna still make, let them, I'm still gonna put his mom with him three times a day on a leash. Like I'm gonna put him on a lead rope and a harness and just let him nurse because my goal is to band him quickly. 
And then he's gonna have to stay out for a while to make sure that it works before he goes back with his mom. But I want to put him back with his mom because we're keeping him. So my plan, even though it's unorthodox, is to go out three times a day, let, his, let him milk from his mom under controlled conditions with like a lead rope so we can grab him away if he tries to get into any funny business with her so that he doesn't completely wean so that he can go back into the herd when he's ready and he can still have his mom's milk. They have to go close because he likes to eat and then dunk his face. Yeah, they all do. All right, so did you tell them what you named him? No. What'd you name him? Toad. Toad. Little Toad. That's what we're going to call him. Little Toad. And he is adorable and we're excited. Just a few weeks ago, our hearts were heavy with the loss of our duck and our goose. And we could never see a way to get our duck into the chicken area so that they could all stay safe. This is much safer for them. Nothing can really get in. And nothing has ever gotten in. And then now today, just a few weeks later, God has shown us a way that we can have these little tawny ducks and kind of keep them with our flock. And the best part is they look like Pekin ducks. Yeah, that's so true. Sophie loves Pekin ducks, but these ducks come in all different colors. So we're going to see what we're going to get. We're going to hatch a bunch of eggs. Actually, we're buying, we're buying baby chicks. Well, it's time to do chores and I'm going to learn how to do goat chores because I've never done them. Have you done them before, Gabby? Gabby, have you done goat chores? Have you done goat chores? Oh, they're all running. Gabby's done goat chores. I've never done goat chores yet, so I'm not sure what to do. Today I'm gonna learn to do goat chores. That way, if I'm the only one down here, I know what to do. So I'm gonna follow Sophie around. What are we doing first? Oh, that one's not not close. <laughs> what is the Gabby do when she helps you? Nothing? Do you do nothing on your hand? What she's doing right now. You do nothing. <laughs> All right. All right, here they come. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Everybody's going everywhere. I'm confused. This is like mad chaos. All the go are those right? Alright, open this one. Uh where does this one go? It's going back out? Oh you gone in the right spot. Two set. There's that goat. Those two goats. Because our horses go in order. They know the order. They just like one goes in, Storm goes in, then Penny, then, or actually whoever's in the, yeah. the gate first, right? Tonight. We'll show you tonight how the horses work. This is like a weird, every goat for themselves, get to the, whatever food they can get, but our horses hey, going their own order, so. Sophie is filling up hay now, but we, we when we do chores in the morning, we have the hay out except for two different piles. So our horses already, stalls are ready with hay and stuff. And our grain is ready. We just put the buckets in the stalls and they know where to go. So I'll show you how easy that is the way we do it. I mean, in a previous video, you saw Laura do it. I think Laura and Sophie were doing horses. And, it was all disorganized. This goat's done. She's coming home. Come on. Come on. Come into your bed. Come on. Come on. Go into your stall. Oh, hey, she's smart. Sophia spilled water everywhere. Well, she's Sophia is just. There, watching it go everywhere. Sophia is filling up water just to make sure all the water buckets are filled. Oh, wow. Now it's heavy. All right, it's time to bring the horse in, and they're soaked. <laughs> Been raining all day. Storm saying it's ready to come in. It's ready to come in now. We're ready to come in. All right, we're ready. Let's storm in. There's an order. Usually storm. Penny, your turn. Penny's coming. Storm goes in to his stall. Penny is coming. 
Willow. Oh, see? There's little Willow. Willow's going to his stall, her stall. See, orderly fashion. And the other two, they stay there. And, and we close the door. And I close this door. Anyways, that's how nice orderly fashion that the horses go in. And I usually close this door. Penny is a lucky girl. Penny is a lucky girl because she gets the biggest stall of them all, right? This big, huge little indoor. She gets like a huge indoor. She's so lucky. She gets a huge indoor all to herself. And she has a big supply of hay here. She's really picky about her hay. So last hay I bought, the bales were smaller, but they were more green and more grassy. And they like that. So that's what they're getting for supper. Got your hay pan? Got your hay? I think we're going to... Got your hay, guys? They share a stall. I think we're going to take blankets off so we can dry them and they can not get too hot and then put them back on in the morning. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know the